All right, guys. So we have a lot to be discussing. We do have the having event essentially taking uh, effect in about five months, give or take. We're going to be talking about the new projects that are essentially coming out that you want to essentially pay attention to. We're going to talk about the Bitcoin monthly candle closure fresh off that just closed. So we're going to be discussing whether or not, again, Bitcoin can stay above $38,000. We're going to talk about regulation projects you should have for the longer term side of things so let's go ahead and get started into the video guys you don't want to miss this information give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this content whether it's basically giving you trading strategies or talking about crypto projects that are going to do very well in the long term you know it does help me out a lot so give this video a thumbs up guys it is free at the end of the day so let's go ahead and get started into the video guys so we do have the having event taking place in about five months so 145 days give or take uh, so around april now that this does change over time again depending on the transactions and how fast we actually get to it uh depending on each block so with that being said um you do have a lot of time guys you do have a lot of time to maximize your gains i know sometimes fomo gets the best of us. even myself i've been in this crypto market for about seven years guys and with that being said you know, FOMO does kick in at times, right? You see some of these projects doing is so well, right? You just want to essentially jump on that train. But I can assure you that the market always presents you with opportunities, guys. Don't feel that you have to get in at that moment. However, you do have to have a plan, a strategy in place so that you can maximize your gains in the next bull market, guys. Now, whether or not we do see, you know, a drawback, a drawdown in the price of Bitcoin, that does present you with the opportunity to take advantage because we've seen historically over the long term of things, once the halving event actually takes place, that's when the actual Bitcoin bull market starts. So don't feel that again, that you have to jump in at these specific moments. It's about building your portfolio for when the time is actually right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the projects again that are doing so well Again, one of those is essentially Titan X. Now, I haven't talked about Titan X uh, on this channel. This is going to be the first time, guys. But however, I've actually started miners uh, from day one, right? From the day that this thing actually came out. As you can see, I've started a ladder all the way from power three to four, you know, small miners all the way to maxing to 280 uh 280 um, days with full miner power, guys. With that being said, if we were to take a look at an example of starting a miner at this point, guys, which is basically bringing you about $14,000 at the current price. So if Titan X basically holds at the current prices of where it is at this moment, guys, that would basically bring you about $14,698 with, you know, 3,304 percent, which is crazy, right? Crazy because you're only putting in 432 basically to start this specific miner. Now, from day one, this was costing around, I believe, $200 to basically start a miner. And as each day goes by, it is gets more difficult or more expensive, essentially, to start a miner. So with that being said, guys, the cool thing about this is that it does have, you know, staking features. It does have a buy and burn. So it is basically bringing the best of both worlds from Zen and Hex into essentially one project. With that being said, we can see, again, the buy and burn feature does have around almost 5 million in ETH into it. So... This is good because it does push the price up. It buys and burns over time. As more participation come in, it basically, you know, this builds up over time, which essentially holds the price of Titan X up. Now, one of the downfalls of Zen is that, you know, you need a lot of development essentially to come in in order to push the price of Zen up, right? Because you, the more economic energy that people actually put into it, the more it is going to spell into the right for the project itself but with that being said you know when there's not a lot of projects being built essentially what tends to happen is that you know there is no burning mechanism happening and you continue to see that downside trend with lower lows and lower highs but with this you know so far so far guys it it looks pretty good right you just put in again a higher low hopefully you're looking for that next higher high against the november 23rd 
And uh, it's because, again, the buy and burn feature and a lot of the attraction that this project is actually getting. So with that being said, guys, this project has actually gotten a lot of hate because of its centralized uh, trigger, the buy and burn trigger, right? Because it's not built into the algorithm. Somebody has to actually trigger it. Now, again, Jake, the founder, did say, again, over time, things do start off as centralized and build toward decentralization. However, again, this project is not complete. There are things that are going to be built on top of this Tyne X crypto project, which will basically expand and make, you know, Tyne X more decentralized over time and make it more deflationary, right? Which spells very good for overall for price. Now, would you want to buy off of the market off of this? Again, keep into consideration this gone up about 600%. So that is actually pretty substantial. So always apply risk to reward in terms of, you know, projects that you get into this. Again, guys, this thing can actually come down all the way. Again, understand buying off of the market or on but basically starting minor. So you got to weigh your risk there. But it is projects like these guys that are, I feel that are going to do very good in the long terms of things because there is new game theories that, that are basically starting out, right? My, uh, where you, where there's no founder allocation. The founder is essentially starting uh, his, his portfolio just like everybody else, guys. And that is basically to start a mint or to start a miner. So with that being said, let's move on to more terms of long-term projects. Again, with Rush, essentially continuing to essentially talk with the FCA. And that is the Financial uh, Conduct Authority. And while you see many projects essentially running away from regulation, you see, again, BAB and regulated decentralized finance continue to develop the the space, guys. And and we know that the, the whole crypto space, there's a hegemony, there is a big elephant in the room, and that is Tether, right? And we know that eventually one day regulation will come towards Tether and a lot of these stable coins. It's just the fact, guys. And whether or not they're going to be considered as e-money or they're going to be completely blown off, we don't know yet. That could be the next black swan event in the crypto space that essentially can drive Bitcoin to, you know, you know, testing all time, all time, um, previous all time lows, right? Around fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars from the from the past bear market. But with that being said, you know, instead of running away from regulation, you run toward regulation, you build the foundation for regulation, guys, because a lot of these projects, instead of actually putting in a, f a framework for regulation, they're running away from it. But BAB is continuing to essentially develop and continuing to apply things that, you know, you've never, never seen before, right? And that is bringing in currency to on-chain, right? Bringing on-chain money, bringing GBP uh, to to the blockchain, bringing in USD to blockchain. So these are cool, innovative stuff that I think Bab will do very well on, and we're continuing to see, you know, reflect hopefully on price. Now, what I'd like to see on the Bax BTC pairing specifically, guys, is that on the two days so far, we're actually act putting in higher low, as you can see on the oscillator. We are at very low levels here. And uh, if we look at the price action, we are putting lower low. We can see the, the crossing actually occurred uh, on the oscillator pointing to the upside, which is good, something you actually want to see, more likely testing that 55 EMA on the, uh, the two day, seeing if it accepts resistance or we can actually get above it. Now, keep in mind, guys, you know, this thing did start an actual downtrend crossing the 255 EMA, which basically spells the death cross but that does not mean there can't be again um you know bounces along the way however this bounce you know can particularly turn into something very good for big uh for for bab against bitcoin here so it's all about you know getting into projects that will essentially outperform bitcoin and a lot of people that get into the space they don't necessarily understand that fact guys is that you want to look for projects that are going to be outperforming Bitcoin. If you can't find those projects, the more likely it's better just to stay into Bitcoin. And there are certain times where you want to be in Bitcoin and not in altcoins because altcoins can basically shed 80 to 90% off of their price, guys. So you do want to be aware of that. 
But again, BAP doing amazing things. We can see even on the three day that, you know, that is basically turning to the upside. We can see the crossing actually occurred. This will get confirmed in about, again, 6 hours and 37 minutes when this three day candle actually closes, which again, you're putting in higher high against price action where you're seeing lower low. So this does indicate, you know, a trend change overall. So this is actually good to see. Again, a lot of innovation happening, guys. You don't want to miss it. So let's go ahead and jump into the price point for Bitcoin. Again, Bitcoin essentially getting above the $38,000 mark, which is great to see where we're talking about. Again, this run is not done. It's not over yet. The bulls do, do still have an opportunity to get us above $38,000. And that's what we're seeing, guys. We're continuing to see Bitcoin trailing above that. Now, again, we're coming off of heavy, heavy resistance, you know, from the previous, again, uh, bull market overall. We can see this is going to take some time. However, if we can turn the $38,000, you know, 38 to 38700 into support, guys, I don't see why Bitcoin can't continue even on further to, you know, targets we've been looking at a $42,000, $44,000 area. So with that being said, if we jump on to the the. Um, you know, the tether dominance with uh, the Bitcoin price action. This is an important chart we overall take a look at at Crypto Bros because it can give us indication when you should be getting into tether, when you should be getting out of tether and maybe jump on to Bitcoin and some of these altcoins like you know Ethereum and, uh, you know, some of the lower cap coins that are more likely are going to outpace, again, Bitcoin here. But we can see, again, we've moved up above the $38,000 mark area here. If we look at the two day, uh, we can see that again, the uh, the crossing uh, of the 55 and 200 EMA is starting to actually occur and will be confirmed on the six hour uh, in the next six hour, six hours and 35 minutes. Now, I do want to iterate, guys, we've seen this in the past. Again, the 200 crossing the 55 EMA. If we go back historically and look at this here. We can see we we do know that again the EMAs are lagging indicators. However, if we actually look at this, we can get an indication of what essentially starts to happen when the actual crossing occurs. So let's just go back here real quick, guys, and we'll bring it back. Okay, so this one happened roughly around 2021. Uh, we'll go back into 2021 here. Uh, when was that? This was right here. So we can see here again the crossing actually occurs. The big move downside move already had happened. Again, it's a lagging indicator, guys. But essentially what happens right here is that the Bitcoin starts to actually put in a top. You can see for you know some time we start to basically range on the tether dominance here. And what happens on Bitcoin? Well, you start to actually get, come close to putting a top. But that doesn't mean, guys, you can see here from this time to this time right here, you actually go up roughly about uh 12 percent so bitcoin went up from sixty one thousand dollars all the way to sixty eight thousand dollars so that's you know the same kind of scenario that might be playing out right now if we even go back further let's see if we can see further iterations not so much so there's only one occurrence on the two day here but again guys what i want to iterate is that you know we we could be coming close to more likely a top you know, leading into the uh, having event, as we can see right here. Again, we're, we're, we're seeing the cross starting to happen. The move already happened, guys. You can see the move already happened here. We could basically be fiddling around in this region before, you know, finding a bit of a support on the dominance here and then starting to actually continue up. So when the tether dominance goes up, essentially Bitcoin starts to sell off. So with that being said, it's not out of the question. Again, we see Bitcoin literally, you know, get up to forty-two thousand dollar. You know, going up ten to to uh, ten to eleven percent from here, more likely close to putting a top, and then from there, actually, where you start to see the shorts come in. So, what are we saying in terms of this? Well, if we actually zoom in, um, well, let's do this on on this chart here. Uh, let's see here. Let's do it on the strut. So we can see again, guys, you know, you've been on the lower time frames. You've been basically building again this formation, right? You've been building this formation, you know, leading into it again. Now, usually the breakout area, where does that come in? Okay, so from from here to here, 
that basically puts you roughly around again forty five thousand dollars so again you know these regions forty two to forty five thousand dollar you know are not out of the question there's still probabilities we can go there's still momentum in this particular move and again as we've if you looked at the previous video we we're talking about for December again usually you know it, it is a major volatile month overall for for Bitcoin so if we look at the monthly time frame guys we did close the monthly time frame uh, now I knew I do know that this video is getting a little bit long but again the monthly time frame guys you know did close in we closed a lot higher than the previous price which is you know around 34,500 what I would say on the monthly time frame anything above really uh, looking around twenty-four to twenty-five thousand dollar, you will be okay on the longer time scale things. So that should be actually good there. But overall, you look pretty good. You look pretty good in, in terms in terms of continuing on upwards from here. So that's basically what we're seeing in terms of the month of Bitcoin. Now, guys, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, guys, I do make these calls in regards to again a lot of the com commodities, bonds, crypto stocks and as you can see on october 26 guys we did call essentially gold reaching uh close to or all-time high in terms of that and that's basically what we saw right it played out just like we said again you know i don't have a crystal ball we apply statistics and probabilities that's how we're able to basically guess this stuff guys so if you haven't followed me on twitter go ahead and follow me there now major event that's basically happening again in december we do have the fomc meeting coming in on the 12th of december so you do want to keep an eye on that we do have the cpi data coming in on december 11th as well too so these are all things that essentially can affect the market and i always encourage that you guys apply risk management when it comes to this stuff again i'll leave you off with this video a bit of a long one here but anyways, guys, until next time, bros, as always, stay profitable.